Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. Okay, we're going to do another suggestion for you. This one was from Genos Kokinos. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Um, or Genos Kokinos. However you, wherever you put the syllable. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is an artist by the name of Al Cooper. Yeah, we haven't heard of him at all. Yeah. And uh, the song's called Hollywood Vampire. It's funny because when you first went to look up this artist to see what song to do or whatever, mm -hmm. I mean, to look for the song, you put in the C instead of the K yeah. for Cooper. And I thought, not Alice Cooper, it's Al Cooper. <laughs> Al Cooper. <laughs> not to be confused. Yeah. No. But, uh, yeah, we uh, found that name Hollywood Vampire interesting. Uh, I was thinking about it because I was thinking of... Um, Oh, another subscriber. Hey, that's great. Uh, but I was thinking of um, uh, Johnny Depp's band. Oh, okay. I think they call themselves the Hollywood Vampires, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not really, really sure either. Yeah. But I think that was the case. So I thought of that when I saw the name and I was like, hey, maybe it's an influence. Interesting. May as well check it out, right? Yeah. So we're going to. This is Al Cooper with Hollywood Vampire. Across the room with sweet abandon Taking with her everybody's eyes And I was rooted to the spot where I stood standing And no one who was there could hear my cries Tonight for sure This has such an odd sound to it. Yeah, for sure. I'm not sure what to think of it. <laughs> like, it's not, it's good, I think. Yeah, I, li I like it. I think. But I just don't know what to make of it. Like, it sounds like a few different genres mashed together. Yeah. And it, I, I don't know where to place it. It kind of puts me in mind of some of the stuff that was going on in the uh, mid 70s. Um, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, I know Paul Williams was writing a lot of uh, really progressive stuff, um, even though he was m much more pop because uh, he was writing pop songs for other people. Yeah. Um, uh, there were bands that was that were doing this kind of thing where they would, you know, have this thing. They were playing with the synthesizers and just kind of It gives it such an odd feel, like the way that they're doing it. 
it it gives it a really odd feel. Hmm. I, I don't know where to place it, like what kind of genre even to place that in. I don't know. I think I call it more of a progressive rock style. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very experimental. I mean, they're I mean, they're it changing. is experimental, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'd put it in progressive rock. I suppose. It's a weird thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, but I am kind of enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of puts me in mind of a lot of the sing uh, the solo acts of the time. I mean, uh, you guys like you know, Jerry Rafferty and, uh, well, Bowie himself, uh, you know, artists like that that were just kind of feeling around. Uh, uh, Leo Sayer had some had some stuff going on. Yeah, but it feels kind of like there's a darkness underneath the song because, well, mm -hmm. it's a vampire, right? Mm -hmm. But the way that they portray that in the music is really interesting. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm quite interested. This could be um, another thing that we could d dive into, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Insane. Yeah. Love that insane guitar wailing at the end. Yeah, no kidding. That was one heck of a solo at the end there, huh? Yeah. There's an awful lot of space left on this video for no good reason, I think. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. 
That's really strange. But <clears throat> this was, okay, I'll give you that this is progressive rock. After a while, it I started to really that. feel like that. Oh. oh. Just some kind of weird conversation at the end. Ha, huh. how strange. But anyways, <laughs> well, some giggling and talking at the end. That's all it was. I suppose. Well, hey, it was on that part of the album. I yeah. Understand. But uh, yeah. This was definitely a surprise one for me. Like it just, it took a bit to grow on me, but then it really mm -hmm. grabbed me near uh, for the last half of the song. Yeah. It's a bit of a Bowie influence, of course. Um, you know, uh, everything that was going on at the time. Like I say, you had a lot of influence from like Velvet Underground and, and you know, New York Dolls, Bowie, Rock, There's so Roxy many. even. Probably not so much Roxy, but, uh, well, maybe a little bit. It was the synth and stuff like that. So, yeah, that early to mid-70s sound is uh, all in this, and it's quite progressive, too, so. Yeah. And especially with the, the chord changes and... Not the chord changes, the the speed changes in song. Yeah, that's for sure interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So found that quite interesting. Yeah. So we're definitely interested in checking out more from this artist at some point. For sure. Because this was way better than I could even have imagined it was going to be. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Quite good. So thank you very much for that request. It was definitely re appreciated. Don't forget to check us out over on our Patreon page. We're adding stuff there all the time, and it's $3 a month. We've just recently added something. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. <laughs>